Dear student, this is the fourth problem from exercise 6.1. Uh, what he has given in the problem I am reading. Which of the following are APs? If they form an AP, find the common difference D and three more terms. So student, uh, there are uh, some bits in the fourth problem. I think there are 13 bits. So this is the first, first bit. So he has given 2, 4, 8, 16. So first we have to find whether it forms an AP or not. If it forms an AP, we have to find the common difference and the three more terms. So how can we check whether the given series forms an AP or not by finding the common difference we can check. So we have to find the common difference student. So this is the given AP student. We have to find the common difference that is A2 minus A1 is equal to a2 is 4 minus a1 is 2, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 student. In the same way, a3 minus a2 is equal to a3 is 8 minus a1 is how much student? 4 is equal to 4. So here a2 minus a1 is not equal to a3 minus a2. a2 minus a1 is not equal to a3 minus a2. So therefore, it does not form an AP. It doesn't form an AP. It doesn't form an AP. So since the common difference is not equal, the given series doesn't form an AP. So if it forms AP, you have to find the common difference and the three more terms, but it doesn't form an AP. So this is the first bit student. Uh, next one more. So 2 comma 5 by 2 comma 3 comma 7 by 2 and so on. So first we have to check whether the given series forms an AP or not. So here again we have to find the common difference. A2 minus A1 is equal to. So A2 is 5 by 2 student minus A1 is 2. By finding LCM we can get 5 minus 4 by 2 which is 1 by 2. So in the same way we have to find a3 minus a2. So a3 minus a2 is equal to a3 is 3 minus a2 is 5 by 2. So a3 is 3 minus a2 is 5 by 2. Again by finding LCM we can get 6 minus 5 by 2 which is 1 by 2. So in the same way we have to find the next one a4 minus a3 is equal to. So 7 by 2 minus 3 that is 7 minus 6 by 2 which is 1 by 2. So in all the three cases the common difference is same. Therefore it forms an AP. It forms an AP. So if it forms an AP the common difference is asking to find as a common difference D is equal to how much student 1 by 2. So then he is asking to find the three more terms. So how many terms are this student here? 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is A1, A2, A3, A4. So three more terms. We have to find A5, A6 and A7. So A5 is equal to. A5 is equal to how can we find student? A4 plus D. So we have A4 is 7 by 2 plus D is 1 by 2. So we can get it totally. 8 by 2 which is 4. 7 plus 1 is 8 by 2, 4. So next A6 is equal to A5 plus D student. Again A5 is 4, D is 1 by 2. A5 we have 4 plus D is 1 by 2. So again we have to find LCM 8 plus 1 divided by 2 which is 9 by 2. So next we have to find A7. So A7 is equal to A6 plus D a6 we have 9 by 2 plus a d value is 1 by 2 that is a 10 by 2 which is 5. So therefore we have to write the and three more terms are three more terms. So what are the three more terms student here a5 is 4 comma a6 is 9 by 2 and a7 is 5 so these are the three more terms student so this is the first and second bits in fourth so student this is the third bit in the fourth problem 
सो माइनस वन पॉइंट टू काम माइनस थ्री पॉइंट टू काम माइनस फाइव पॉइंट टू काम माइनस सेवन पॉइंट टू एंड सो ऑन हिज गिवेन स्टूडेंट सो फर्स्ट यू हेव टू चेक वेदर द गिवेन सीरीज फॉर्म्स एंड ए पी आर नॉट बाई फाइंडिंग द कॉम एंड डिफरेंस ऑफ सक्सेसिव टर्म्स सो नेक्स्ट इफ इफ इट फॉर्म्स एंड ए पी हेव टू फाइंड द थ्री मोर टर्म्स सो सोल्यूशन हाउ कैन वी फाइंड सी स्टूडेंट फर्स्ट यू हेव टू फाइंड द कॉमन डिफरेंस ए टू माइनस ए वन इज ईक्वल टू सो ए टू इज माइनस थ्री पॉइंट टू माइनस ए वन इज माइनस वन पॉइंट टू सो दैट इज माइनस थ्री पॉइंट टू प्लस वन पॉइंट टू इट बिकम्स माइनस टू पॉइंट जीरो सो इन द सेम वे हेव टू फाइंड ए थ्री माइनस ए टू इज ईक्वल टू ए थ्री दैट इज माइनस फाइव पॉइंट टू माइनस ए टू इज माइनस थ्री पॉइंट टू इट बिकम्स माइनस फाइव पॉइंट टू प्लस थ्री पॉइंट टू सो माइनस इन टू माइनस प्लस अगेन इट इज ऑल्सो माइनस टू पॉइंट जीरो इन द सेम वे हेव टू फाइंड ए फोर माइनस ए थ्री इज ईक्वल टू सो ए फोर इज माइनस सेवन पॉइंट टू माइनस ए थ्री इज माइनस फाइव पॉइंट टू दैट इज माइनस सेवन पॉइंट टू सो हियर माइनस इन टू माइनस प्लस फाइव पॉइंट टू अगेन वी कैन गेट माइनस टू पॉइंट जीरो सो स्टूडेंट हियर द कॉमन डिफरेंस इज ईक्वल इन ईच सक्सेसिव टर्म्स सो देर फोर इट फॉर्म्स एन ए पी इट फॉर्म्स एन ए पी इट फॉर्म्स एन अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन देर फॉर कॉमन डिफरेंस वॉट इज द कॉमन डिफरेंस कॉमन डिफरेंस स्मॉल डी इज ईक्वल टू माइनस टू पॉइंट जीरो सो नेक्स्ट इज आस्किंग टू फाइंड द थ्री मोर टर्म्स सो हियर वन टू थ्री फोर टर्म्स आर देर थ्री मोर टर्म्स दीर आर अप टू ए वन ए टू ए थ्री ए फोर सो थ्री मोर टर्म्स आर ए फाइव ए सिक्स एंड ए सेवन वी हैव टू फाइंड ए फाइव सो ए फाइव इज ईक्वल टू वी कैन राइट ए फोर प्लस डी सो वी हैव ए फोर इज ईक्वल टू माइनस सेवन पॉइंट टू प्लस डी इज माइनस टू पॉइंट जीरो सो दिस इज डी so that is minus 7.2 minus 2.0 we can get minus 9.2 so in the same way we have to find a6 is equal to a5 plus d a6 equal to a5 plus d so we have a5 is equal to minus 9.2 plus d is minus 2.0 that is minus 9.2 minus 2.0 it is minus 11.2 so this is a6 and a7 is equal to we can write a6 plus d so again we have a6 is equal to minus 11.2 plus d is 2.0 so we can get a minus 11.2 minus 2.0 minus 13.0 so just we have to add a common difference to the preceding term student therefore the three more terms are three more terms the three more terms are minus 9.2 comma minus 11.2 and minus 13.2 so these are the three more terms so next this is the fourth one student again we have to check whether the given series forms an ap or not by finding the common difference of successive terms so again we have to find how can we find so we have to check a2 minus a1 is equal to a2 minus a1 is equal to so a2 is minus 6 minus a1 is minus 10 student so that is minus 6 minus into minus plus 10 which is 4 so a2 minus a1 is equal to 4 in the same way we have to find a3 minus a2 a3 is minus 2 minus a2 is minus 6 so we can minus 2 minus into minus plus 6 uh, minus 2 plus 6 is 4 student in the same way how to find a4 minus a3 so a4 is 2 minus of a3 is minus 2 2 minus of minus 2 it becomes a 2 plus 2 which is 4 so here also common difference is same therefore it forms an ap it forms an ap it forms an ap that is arithmetic progression therefore he is asking to find as the common difference therefore common difference d is equal to how much student common difference is equal to 
so he is asking to find us the next four terms so that is a5 a6 a7 so a5 can be written as a5 is equal to a4 plus d so we have a4 is equal to 2 and d is equal to how much 4 so 2 plus 4 is 6 in the same way a6 is equal to a5 plus d a5 we have 6 plus d is 4 6 plus 4 is 10 so next a7 is equal to a6 plus d a6 is 10 plus d is 4 it is 14 so these three are the three more terms therefore we have to write three more terms are three more terms are 6 comma 10 and 14 so these are the three more terms of the given ap so this is student this is the fifth bit in the fourth problem again he has given a series now again we have to check whether it forms an ap or not by finding the common difference of the successive terms i am finding a2 minus a1 is equal to so a2 is 3 plus root 2 minus a1 is a 3 so minus 3 plus 3 gets cancelled student it is a root 2 we can get so in the same way a3 minus a2 is equal to so a3 is 3 plus 2 root 2 minus a1 is 3 plus a2 is 3 plus root 2 so just we have to simplify student 3 plus 2 root 2 so by multiplying minus we can get minus 3 minus root 2 minus 3 plus 3 gets cancelled 2 root 2 minus root 2 is a root 2 so next to a4 minus a3 is equal to a4 is 3 plus 3 root 2 minus a3 is 3 plus 2 root 2 so again by simplifying it is 3 plus 3 root 2 multiply by minus it minus 3 minus 2 root 2 so plus 3 minus 3 gets cancelled 3 root 2 minus 2 root 2 is root 2 again so in all the successive terms the common difference is same therefore it forms an ap it forms an ap so common difference equal to what is the common difference student common difference is equal to root 2 so next he is asking to find us three more terms a1 a2 a3 a4 so next a5 is equal to a4 plus d so we have a4 3 plus 3 root 2 3 plus 3 root 2 plus d that is root 2 so it becomes 3 plus 4 root 2 so 3 root 2 plus root 2 is 4 root 2 so next a6 is equal to a5 plus d a5 we have 3 plus 4 root 2 plus d is root 2 so we can get 3 plus 5 root 2 3 plus 5 root 2 so next a7 is equal to a6 plus d that is 3 plus 5 root 2 plus root 2 which is 3 plus 6 root 2 3 plus 6 root 2 so therefore the three more terms are 3 plus 4 root 2 we can write uh, therefore three more terms three more terms are so what are the three more terms 3 plus 4 root 2 comma 3 plus 5 root 2 and uh, 3 plus 6 root 2 so these are the three more terms student these are the three more terms so next we have to find sixth beta so 0 0.2 comma 0 0.22 comma 0 0.22 comma 0 0.22 and so on so again we have to find the common difference a2 minus a1 is equal to that is 0 0.22 minus 0 0.2 so that is it is a 0 point so 0 to student 0 0.02 so next a3 minus a2 is equal to a3 is 0 0.222 minus a2 is 0 0.22 so here it is 2 2 2 cancel here if you write 0 we can get 0 0.002 so here 
a2 minus a1 is not equal to a3 minus a2 student these two are not equal therefore it does not form an ap it doesn't form an ap it doesn't form an ap so this is the sixth bit student in the fourth problem a student this is seventh bit in the fourth problem 0 comma minus 4 comma minus 8 minus 12 and so on again we have to find whether it forms an arithmetic progression or not by finding the common difference of a successive terms so i am finding a2 minus a1 is equal to a2 is minus 4 minus a1 is 0 that is minus 4 so next a3 minus a2 is equal to a3 is minus 8 minus a2 is minus 4 that is minus 8 minus into minus plus 4 again we get minus 4 minus 8 plus 4 is so next a4 minus a3 is equal to minus 12 minus of minus 8 so here a4 is minus 12 minus a3 is minus 8 that is minus 12 minus into minus plus 8 which is minus 4 so student the common difference is same therefore it forms an ap it forms an ap it forms an ap so common difference how much student common difference is equal to minus 4 common difference is equal to minus 4 so next is asking to find three more terms that is a5 a6 a7 a5 is equal to a4 plus d so this is a4 minus 12 plus d plus d is minus 4 so that is minus 12 minus 4 is minus 16 so next a6 is equal to a5 plus d again a5 is minus 16 plus d is minus 4 minus 16 minus 4 which is minus 20 so next a7 is equal to a6 plus d a6 is minus 20 plus minus 4 that is a minus 20 minus 4 is minus 24 so these three are the three more terms so therefore three more terms are three more terms are minus 16 minus 20 and minus 24 these are the three more terms so this is the seventh so next uh, eighth bit in the fourth problem student minus 1 by 2 comma minus 1 by 2 comma minus 1 by 2 and so on so student again we have to check whether it forms an ap or not uh, here a2 minus a1 is equal to minus 1 by 2 minus of minus 1 by 2 so here we can get minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 which is 0 so in the same way we can get a3 minus a2 is also 0 student uh, and a4 minus a3 is also 0 so all are minus 1 by 2 only so therefore the common difference is same it forms an ap it forms an arithmetic progression so he is asking to find us three more terms so all are equal so three more terms are also so three more terms are three more terms so here all are minus 1 by 2 they are also minus 1 by 2 comma minus 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 so these are the three more terms so this is the eighth bit student this is ninth bit in the fourth problem a uh, 1 comma 3 comma 9 comma 27 it has given student again you have to check whether it forms an ap or not uh, by finding the common difference a2 minus a1 is equal to 3 minus 1 which is 2 student and uh, a3 minus a2 is equal to 9 minus 3 it is a 6 therefore here a2 minus a1 is not equal to a3 minus a2 so the common difference is not same therefore it doesn't form an ap it doesn't form an ap it doesn't form an ap so if it forms you have to find three more terms but it doesn't form an ap so next 10th bit student a comma 2a comma 3a comma 4a and so on so again we have to find common difference a2 minus a1 is equal to 2a minus a which is a so next a3 minus a2 is equal to 3a 
माइनस टू ए विच इज ऑल्सो ए सो थ्री ए माइनस टू ए सो नेक्स्ट ए फोर माइनस ए थ्री इज इक्वल टू फोर ए माइनस थ्री ए विच इज ऑल्सो ए सो द कॉमन डिफरेंस इज सेम इन ऑल सक्सेसिव टर्म्स सो देर फोर इट फॉर्म्स एन ए पी इट फॉर्म्स एन ए पी अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन सो इज आस्किंग टू फाइंड एज द कॉमन डिफरेंस कॉमन डिफरेंस इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच स्टूडेंट ए सो नेक्स्ट इज आस्किंग टू फाइंड एज थ्री मोर टर्म्स दैट इज ए फाइव इज इक्वल टू ए फोर प्लस डी सो ए फोर इज फोर ए प्लस डी इज ए फोर ए प्लस ए इज फाइव ए सो नेक्स्ट ए सिक्स ए सिक्स इज ए फाइव प्लस डी दैट इज ए फाइव इज फाइव ए D is a, a five five a plus a is six a. So next a seven is equal to a six plus d. A six is six a plus a, which is seven a. Therefore, three more terms. Three more terms equal to five a comma six a and seven a. so these are the three more terms in the 10th bit student this is the 11th bit in fourth problem so a a square a cube a to the power 4 and so on so is asking to find with whether it forms an ap or not so a2 minus a1 is equal to a square minus a that's all student we can take a as common so a into a minus 1 So a three minus a two is equal to a cube minus a square. We can take a square as common. Here we can get a minus one. But these two are not equal, student. Here it is a into a minus one, but here it is a square into a minus one. So a two minus a one is not equal to a three minus a two. Therefore. it doesn't form an ap it doesn't form an ap so this is the 11th bit student next we have to solve 12th bit root 2 comma root 8 comma root 18 root 32 and so on so student again you have to find a2 minus a1 so a2 minus a1 is equal to Root eight minus root two. So root eight can be written as a, it is four into two minus root two. Root four into two that is a two root two minus root two student. So that we can get a root two. So root two we can get four into two. If you write four as a, it becomes a four root four is two and root two two root two minus root two is root two again. So here a two minus a one. So next, a three minus a two is equal to root eighteen minus root eight. So root eighteen can be written as nine into two. Again, root eight can be written as four into two. So here nine into two it becomes three root two. It becomes two root two. So three root two minus two root two is again root two student. So next we have to find. A four minus A three. A four is root thirty two. Root thirty two minus A three is root eighteen. Root eighteen. So it can be written as sixteen into two student, and minus it can be written as nine into two again. So sixteen root sixteen can be written as four root two minus root nine is three root two. So again we get a root two. So in all the difference of successive terms is root two student. Therefore, it forms an AP. It forms an AP. It forms an AP. So he is asking to find as the common difference. Therefore, common difference is equal to common difference is equal to root two. So common difference how much student? Common difference is root two here. So next is asking to find as three more terms. So common difference equal to root two student is asking to find as three more terms. That is a five is equal to a four plus d a four plus d. 
so we have a4 is equal to how much student uh, root 32 plus uh, d is equal to root 2 uh, root 32 plus root 2 so here uh, root 32 can be written as uh, 4 root 2 student uh, plus root 2 4 root 2 plus root 2 is uh, 5 root 2 so it becomes uh, if you write 5 in the root it becomes 25 25 into 2 is root 50 uh, root 50 so next a6 is equal to a5 plus d a5 is root 50 plus d is root 2 so student uh, this root 50 can be written as a uh, 5 root 2 so since 50 can be written as 25 into 2 root 25 is 5 student that is 5 root 2 plus root 2 so it is 6 root 2 so again if you write if you take 6 to the root it becomes a 6 square 36 into 2 that is root 72 so next a7 is equal to a6 plus d that is root 72 plus root 2 root 72 can be written as 6 root 2 plus root 2 which is 7 root 2 so student just i am adding a7 equal to a6 plus d a6 is root 72 d is root 2 so root 72 can be written as 6 root 2 plus root 2 that is 7 root 2 again if you take 7 to the root it becomes 49 49 into 2 98 root 98 therefore three more terms are three more terms are root 50 comma root 72 and root 98 so these are the three more terms in the 12th problem student root 72 root 50 root 72 and root 98 so this is the 12th bit student next student this is the 13th bit in the fourth problem this is the last bit student uh, root 3 comma root 6 comma root 9 comma root 12 and so on so now I have to check whether it forms an ap or not by finding the common difference of the successive terms a2 minus a1 is equal to uh, root 6 minus root 3 that's all student so next a3 minus a2 is equal to root 9 minus root 3 so root 9 can be written as 3 minus root 3 so here these two are not equal student a2 minus a1 is not equal to a3 minus a2 therefore it doesn't form an ap it doesn't form an ap so if it forms an ap you have to find the next three more terms but it doesn't form an ap so student uh, these are the 13 bits in the fourth problem so student now we have completed exercise 6.1